Hi, this is Seth David with another webcast brought to you by Nerd Enterprises Incorporated. And we're broadcasting live, doing a webcast on Microsoft Excel and a little bit of QuickBooks, how to analyze your sales data. And we're going to show you how to write a summit formula and a VLOOKUP formula to help uh, uh, pull data out of a larger set of data very quickly. And a full screen view. I can show you how to do it. Share my computer screen with you. Now what you're looking at here is a sales by item detail report that I've run in QuickBooks. You run this by going to reports, sales, and then sales by item detail. And this will show you all the items you've sold for a given period of time. Once you've run this, of course, you can set your date range. We're using a sample company file here, so it puts us into the future. And then I want to go right into Excel with this. You can, of course, play around with the different reports in the sales sections, and I'm sure there's a lot in there that you'll find useful, especially if you're selling products. But even if you're selling services, it gives you some pretty valuable information. So how did I export that into Excel? Click Export, and then click Export. Now, there are some settings. I've changed the defaults so that it exports things the way I like them. You may want to play around with those settings, uh, get it working the way you like it. I'm going to do some quick formatting here in Excel to make it a little easier to read. Not the purpose of this webcast, so I'm not going to explain necessarily what I'm doing in great detail there. And what I want to do is I want to get rid of anything that's not inventory. For the purposes of this webcast, I want to keep it real simple. So we've got some items here. And one of the problems when I first export this into Excel is that QuickBooks breaks it out by item but it doesn't give you the item in the same lines as where the detail is. I like to have the detail, I like to have the items there. So we're going to quickly just copy and paste these down so that I can have it the way I like it. That takes care of that. Now we also have subcategories here, pool covers. Let's get rid of total inventory. I'm going to get rid of all of my totals now. And I don't need the sort of headers that they give you. I just want the raw data. I don't care about anything else. Item. Well, let's widen these up. Now let's just say, for argument's sake, that I know these are pool covers. I don't really actually I'll give you a bonus tip here obviously here I just have the one item so I can copy that in Get rid of that line over here I want to combine them copy that over again I'm going to do that with a concatenate formula and I'm going to select pool covers and let's put a colon in there I surround it with quotes and I messed that up got to put a comma after each criteria so I've got the pool covers, I put a colon in there, comma, then I select the item, and that combines them. Now what QuickBooks does initially, or Excel I should say does when you export from QuickBooks, is it recognizes all the formatting as raw text. You have to fix that. The data, text to columns, choose fix with, next. Select anywhere here to the right that's way out there where you know you're not going to be splitting any data up or splitting any pieces of data in, into column. I select this column out here. I choose do not import, finish, and it converts it for me. Now I can just copy this down so it works for the rest of them. Copy the title over. This is my item. And then now I want to copy, and then I want to go to paste special, values. So that basically overwrites the formula with the actual result, which is the consolidated item description. Get rid of this. I don't care about the balance. More quick formatting. Paste the formats in there. Get rid of some of these extra lines. Now, let's play. I'm going to give you two scenarios. First of all, 
let's create a Dropbox here so I can pick an item and then we're going to see what information we're going to accumulate about that item. So the best way to set up a Dropbox is to name your range. So I select the range, go to my Formulas tab, define name, we can call this Products. Great. Now I can type Choose here and then I go to Data and I want to go to Data Validation and choose Data Validation again. I choose Allow a List and the Source. I can type F3. It brings up any names I've created. Products is there. Click OK. OK, and I'm done. I know I'm going a little fast, but that's because I only have a certain amount of time, and you can watch this more than once if you need to. So now I've got a mechanism for selecting an item. Now, what information do I want? Let's say the first thing I want to see is total units sold. What I want to be able to do then, tighten these columns up, is I want to be able to add up every time it sees the item I've selected here. If it sees it in this list, I want to add up the quantity sold here. That's going to be done with a SUMIF formula. SUMIF, this range, comma, is equal to that. Then, comma, add whatever's in quantity. And out there, and sure enough, it gives me a 3, which is the correct result. Now, notice it recognized when I selected the range to look in, it recognized that I had named this range products. So it kept that. Now I'm going to do some uh, referencing stuff here because we want to hold this constant certain parts of the reference so I can copy this. Now if I copy that down with that data validation, I can do it again. Now I can choose a different item. It gives me the result. Now let's say I want total sales for an item. Now I can copy this over, but instead of G12, which is the quantity column, I want I12, I3 to I12, to get my total sales. Great. And the DB sold 4,000. Let's just check that we're getting the right results. Looks that way. This was an extra line. Now, average unit price. What do we charge on average per unit? This is kind of information that becomes handy if I know that my pricing has changed a lot. So this way I've created a situation, bear in mind, that it's not always going to be such a simple list to look at. Normally, you're going to have a much longer list of products, but here's a way you can create a little template that will let you quickly look up a unit using a drop-down so that you can quickly get information out of it and report on your sales. Get some good information. So if I know that my average unit price is lower than what I'm selling it for now, well, then that means I've increased my price. That might be a good thing if I'm still getting the sales. If I see that I'm not getting that much in sales and my average unit price has gone up, maybe I want to lower my price. It's this sort of analysis that you can begin to do. So hopefully you found that helpful. Watch the video a few times so you can really kind of get it and drive the point home for yourself. Visit us on the web at nerdenterprises.com. Go to our learning center. We've got full-length tutorials you can download on how to use QuickBooks and Excel and all kinds of other stuff. I hope you have